All right, guys. New day, new creepypasta. This time we're going for Doctor Smiley. Now, the name sounds familiar. I just can't remember. Oh my god. You know what? I'm not gonna try hurting my head right now trying to remember who Doc. Oh wait, I remember faintly who Dr. Smiley is. I just can't remember his backstory precisely. But I guess that won't be a problem here pretty soon. So let's get into it then. All right, I believe today we're going into the backstory of Dr. Smiley. Now, unfortunately, as I did say in the intro, that I don't quite remember exactly what Dr. Smiley's uh, backstory is. So, hopefully this will bring back a little bit of memory for me. Another successful surgery, quote from Dr. Smiley. Dr. Smiley is a character that appears in the creepypasta of the same name, Dr. Smiley. Unlike regular doctors who try to save their patients' lives, Dr. Smiley welcomes death and seeks to help his patients embrace it. Operating outside of a dilapidated... Wait. Outside of a dilapidated... <coughs> bless, bless me. Oh, Lord. Operating outside of a dilapidated looking small building with chipped paint, shutters hanging by a small strip of wood, and cardboard covering the windows, Dr. Smiley lures in sick people. Like a. <coughs> Bless me. Holy. Don't know what's going on. I must be mold in the air or something. Lures in sick people, like a woman with anorexia or someone suffering from a condition causing their body to slowly break down off the street with the promise of free treatment. Once they are inside, however, the patient is injected with an unknown bluish liquid before being strapped to a table. Dr. Smiley then waits for the victim to wake up before cutting into the body with a scalpel until they bleed to death, after which he removes one of their organs as a specimen. Dr. Smiley is described as a young man with ghostly pale skin and shaggy black hair. He is usually described as wearing a button-up shirt with a tie, latex gl surgical gloves, and a long white lab coat. He's a he has incredibly sharp teeth and piercing blood-red eyes. Sh sharp teeth and blood-red eyes? It kinda sounds like Sonic EXE for that one, but completely different creepypasta, so... Dr. Smiley is very sadistic, taking great pride in mutilating his victims and preferring his victims to be awake as he gruesomely operates on them. Despite this, he seems to sincerely believe that he's helping his victims and that what he does to them is a good thing. Dr. Smiley was created by Bunstream. This image, commonly associated with Dr. Smiley and featured on the very first post of the story, is not Dr. Smiley and has nothing to at all to do with the story. Bunstream was 11 years old when she wrote the story and obviously didn't know at the, that age that art theft was bad, so she just grabbed the picture off of Google, Google Images and used it for the story. As she got older, Bunstream grew to regret this, removed the image from the story when she got older and realized what art theft was, repeatedly stated that the image wasn't hers and that it had nothing to do with Dr. Smiley and eventually grew to hate Dr. Smiley so much that she deleted the story off her DeviantArt page. Really? Alright. Dr. Smiley's birthday is on October 20th, 1984. Hold up. Hold up. October 20th? 20th? Hold up. What day is Oh, Dr. Smiley scheduled for October 19th. Just one day too early. 
Oh, that would have been perfect if it fell right on the same day. Damn! Dr. Smiley is not a stolen OC. Dr. Smiley is a creepypasta story that happened to use a picture of someone else's OC to represent the title character. Dr. Smiley has no can uh, canonical name and backstory, and any s story claiming to be his backstory is purely fanfiction, so no, Dr. Smiley's name is not Devin Lee Smiley, and nothing described in that story is in any way canon. He has no ca signature catchphrase. Because Dr. Smiley has a few abnormalities, i.e. red eyes, sharp teeth, etc., this could mean that Dr. Smiley is possibly non-human. Dr. Smiley prefers for his victims to be awake while he needlessly operates on them. He cuts his victims open with a scalpel until they bleed to death. Afterwards, he removes one of their organs to keep as a specimen. Real quick, this image. It says on D uh, DeviantArt. Yeah, that's usually the picture most commonly associated with Dr. Smiley. How old is this picture? November 21st, 2011. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, so that was technically uh, the original picture that people used to associate with Dr. Smiley. And we just saw what could be described as the original creator's hate towards people associating Dr. Smiley with that picture. <laughs> wow. Now, as far as fan art goes, obviously you got this one. You got this one right here, because that was the picture that's at the top of the page. Right here. Uh, well, there's that picture again. <laughs> oh boy. Is this... Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, okay, so we got Dr. Smiley right there and Eyeless Jack. That's actually pretty cool. I like that piece right there. This one could potentially be Dr. Smiley as well, because you, even though it's not colored, you can obviously tell it's him, because he's putting on the latex gloves, he's holding a syringe, you see the uh, suit, button-up shirt, tie, obviously the red eyes, sharp teeth. You can obviously tell that's Dr. Smiley. So if we're not, count if we're not counting the original picture that was uh, associated with Dr. Smiley, like, years, years ago, which is this one right here. I'd say my favorite ones, uh, well, top three. You got this one. You have this one right here with Eyeless Jack as, uh, in the picture as well. And then you got this one right here. These are all good. Hey, you. Yes, you, behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.